In this quick video, I'm going to teach you how you can add, delete, or reprogram your remotes for your Bulldog, AIS, and Easy Starter brand remote, car alarms, or remote start system. Now, before I get started, I wanted to make sure you have everything in hand before you start the procedure. First thing you need to do is have all your existing remotes or new remotes that you're going to add into the system. So if you have one, if you have two, if you have four, you can learn up to four in any one of these systems. So have them all laid out on your seat and ready to go. Also, make sure that you can locate your valley switch, which is located in the antenna, which you see here in this unit. This here is the LED that flashes in the dark to tell you the status of the system, the antenna, and right here, this push button, that's the programming switch, okay? So you're gonna need to have access to this, the keys, and all the remote controls in order to do this job. So first things first, go up to your vehicle, disarm it, make sure it's in a disarm state by simply hitting unlock. You're gonna go, turn ignition to the on position, go to your programming switch, hit it six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. The status LED in here should start flashing quickly. Within six seconds, press lock for a half a second on the first remote. Do that on every remote that you're gonna do. Once you're done with that, go back to the first one, hold the unlock button for another half of a second. The horn will sound five times to confirm that it's learned your transmitter. At that point, you could either wait 15 seconds for the system to time out, or you could just turn the key to the off position and exit programming. And that's all there is to it, to programming your Easy Starter brand remotes.